Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. We are back with another recording from our Patreon day back in the summer. We had an excellent time playing with our patrons that day which was a perk of signing up to Patreon. We have all kinds of other perks for signing up as well. Things like leagues, tournaments, LGS days, and much more. Sign up to our Patreon below and join us for these events. Our merchandise store is back. We have revamped our merchandise with updated designs and higher quality materials. You can help support us by buying a shirt or other merch today. The link is in the description below. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Sean, piloting Herald, King of Skimfar. This deck, called Cloud Chain with a Chance of Elf Balls, is a Golgari Elf combo deck. It seeks to execute a number of different combos, leveraging the different elf synergies to close out the game. Sean's opening hand contains a Fierce Empath, Elvish Archdruid, Arbor Elf, Green Sun Zenith, Finehorn Elves, Bayou, and a Bloodstained Mire. Next, we have Robert, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Thrasios Triton Hero. This is a mid-range deck that seeks to set up advantage engines, grind the game, and win with a number of compact combos. Robert's opening hand contains a Misty Rainforest, Underground Sea, Mana Crypt, Limb Duel's Vault, Ristic Study, Preordain, and a Lotus Petal. After that we have Greg, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Vile Smasher the Fierce. Control is the name of the game with this deck. It seeks to control the board, stop opponent's game plans, then close out the game with attrition or combo. Greg's opening hand contains a Praetor's Grasp, Veil of Summer, Sylvan Library, Mystical Tutor, Steam Vents, Curiosity, and a Gemstone Caverns. Finally, we have Mark, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Tana the Bloodsower. This is a CDH stacks deck called Blood Pod. It seeks to lock down the board with stacks and hate bears. Once in control of the table, it closes out the game with a number of different Birthing Pod or Kiki Jiki combos. Mark's opening hand contains an Assassin's Trophy, Swamp, Ignoble Hierarch, Nurturing Peatland, Pyroblast, Avon Mind Sensor, and a Gemstone Caverns. Without further ado, let's begin this great grand gargantuan gathering of this gaggle of geese. Sean was the only one with a single creature in his command zone, so the rest of the team let him go first. But Greg and Mark have pre-game actions. Greg puts a Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Mystical Tutor, and Mark also puts a Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling a Swamp. Sean draws a card for turn and plays a Bayou. He casts a Finehorn Elves. Sean passes. Robert draws a card for turn and plays an Underground Sea. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Lotus Petal. He casts a turn one, Ristic Study. The table groans and Robert ends his turn. Greg draws and plays a City of Brass. He taps his City of Brass to cast Sylvan Library. Ristic Study triggers and Robert draws. Greg passes to Mark. Mark draws and plays a Nurturing Peatland. He taps his Peatland to cast Ignoble Hierarch, paying the Ristic Tax. Mark passes the turn. Sean draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Green Sun Zenith where X equals two. Ristic Study triggers and Robert draws. It resolves and Sean fetches up a Collector Oof onto the battlefield and shuffles Green Suns back into his library. Robert groans and Sean ends his turn. During his upkeep, Robert wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Bayou onto the battlefield. He casts a Sylvan Library of his own. Robert ships the turn to Greg. During his draw step, Greg draws two extra through Sylvan Library and puts two back on top. He plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He taps his City of Brass to help cast his commander, Vile Smasher the Fierce. Ristic triggers and Robert draws. Greg gives the turn to Mark. Mark draws, misses his land drop, and passes the turn. Sean draws and casts an Arbor Elf, paying the Ristic Tax. He moves to combat and attacks Robert with Collector Oof and Finehorn Elves. Robert takes it and Sean passes the turn. During his upkeep, Robert loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it and pays a life. In response, Mark flashes in an Avon Mind Sensor. Mind Sensor resolves, Robert looks at the top four, fails to find, and shuffles. Set back by this turn of events, Robert passes. During his draw step, Greg draws two extra through Sylvan Library and puts two back on top. He casts Curiosity, targeting his Vile Smasher. Ristic triggers and Robert draws. Vile Smasher triggers and deals one damage to Sean. Then Curiosity resolves and Greg moves to combat. He attacks Robert with Vile Smasher. Robert takes it, Curiosity triggers, and Greg draws a card. Finished up, Greg passes. Mark draws and starts off his turn by casting Sarah Ascendant. Ristic triggers and Mark taps his Peatland to pay. 
Mark moves to combat and attacks Greg with Avon Mind Sensor. Ignoble Hierarch's Exalted triggers and Avon Mind Sensor gets plus one plus one. Greg takes it and Mark ends his turn. Sean draws and starts off his turn by casting his commander, Harald, King of Skimfar, paying the Rhystic Tax. Sean looks at the top five and reveals a nameless inversion into his hand, bottoming the rest. Sean passes the turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Robert casts Lim Duel's Vault. In response, Greg casts Swan Song, Vile Smasher, and Rhystic Trigger. Greg taps his City of Brass to pay for Rhystic, and then Vile Smasher deals one to Sean. Curiosity triggers, and Greg draws a card. Then Swan Song resolves, Lim Duel's is countered, and Robert creates a 2-2 bird. The turn then moves to Robert. During his upkeep, Robert wins his Mana Crypt roll. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He plays an Underground River for turn. He casts a Preordain. He scries two and draws a card. Robert passes. At the end of Robert's turn, Mark casts Pyroblast, destroying Greg's curiosity. During his draw step, Greg draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He taps his City of Brass to cast Compost, paying the Rhystic Attacks. Tax. Vile Smasher triggers and deals two damage to Sean. Then Compost resolves and Greg passes the turn. Mark draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a plateau onto the battlefield. He taps his Nurturing Peatland to help cast his commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with his Avon Mind Sensor and Greg with his Sarah Ascendant. They both take it, Mark gains six life. In his second main phase, he pays two and draws two through Timna. Finished up, Mark ends his turn. Sean draws and starts off his turn by casting a Heritage Druid. He activates Heritage Druid, tapping three elves and adding three green. He casts an Elvish Arch Druid, paying the Rhystic Tax. Sean ends his turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Robert taps his Underground River to cast Assassin's Trophy, targeting Collector Oof. Oof is destroyed, Sean searches for a basic land in the top four due to Avon Mind Sensor, fails to find, and shuffles. Compost triggers from Assassin's Trophy, and Greg draws. The turn then moves to Robert. During his upkeep, Robert wins his Mana Crypt roll. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. He plays a Nurturing Peatland for turn. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, doesn't like what he sees, shuffles, and draws. He then taps his peatland to help cast Seedborn Muse. He follows it up by tapping his Underground River to cast his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. Robert ends his turn. Robert untaps with Greg during his untap step. During his draw step, Greg draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He starts off his turn by casting Oko, Thief of Crowns. Robert knows exactly where this is going, so Robert responds. He activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a mystical tutor into his hand. He activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Pact of Negation into his hand. He casts Pact of Negation. Pact counters Oko, and Greg passes the turn, discarding the hand size. Robert untaps with Mark. Mark draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Rob with Sarah Ascendant and Sean with Avon Mind Sensor. Rob blocks with his bird, and then Sean takes it. Mark gains six life. In his second main phase, Timna triggers and Mark responds. He casts an Enlightened Tutor, paying the Rhystic Tax. He fetches up a Birthing Pot onto the top of his library. Then Timna's trigger resolves and Mark pays one and draws one. Mark passes the turn. At the end of Mark's turn, Rob activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Worldly Tutor into his hand. He taps his Nurturing Peatland to activate Thrasios again. In response, and with Rob tapped out, Mark casts Assassin's Trophy, targeting Seedborn Muse. Seedborn is destroyed, Rob searches for a basic land in the top four through Mind Sensor, fails to find, and shuffles. Compost triggers, and Greg draws a card. Then Thrasios resolves, Rob scries one and reveals a Cyclonic Rift into his hand. With nothing else, the turn passes to Sean. Sean draws and starts off his turn by casting Razaketh the Foul-Blooded, which everyone did not see coming. Rhystic triggers, and Rob draws. Sean activates Heritage Druid, floating three green. He activates Razaketh, paying two life and sacrificing his commander. Compost triggers and Greg draws. The ability resolves, but Sean can only search the top four due to Avon Mind Sensor. Sean forgot about this and now has to come up with a solution. He fetches a card into his hand. He casts a Wirewood Symbiote. Rhystic triggers and Rob draws. He activates Wirewood, bouncing Heritage Druid and untapping his Arbor Elf. He taps Arbor Elf to untap his Bayou. He casts Nameless Inversion, killing Avon Mind Sensor. Compost triggers and Greg draws. He activates Razaketh, paying two life and sacrificing Wirewood Symbiote, fetching a card into his hand. He casts a Chrome Mox, exiling Fierce Empath. He activates Razaketh, paying two life and sacrificing Finehorn Elves, fetching up another card into his hand. He plays a Gaia's Cradle for turn. He casts Heritage Druid. He activates Razaketh, sacrificing Arbor Elf, fetching a card into his hand. He casts Quarian Ranger. 
He activates Quirion Ranger, bouncing by you, and untapping Elvis Archdruid. He floats mana off of Archdruid, and then casts Cloudstone Curio. He activates Razaketh, paying two life, sacrificing Elvish Archdruid, fetching another card into his hand. He casts an Allosaurus Shepherd. Rhystic triggers, and Rob draws. Cloudstone Curio triggers, and Sean floats three green off of Heritage Druid before bouncing Quirion Ranger to his hand. He recasts Quirion Ranger. Rhystic triggers, and Rob draws. He casts a Soul Ring, and Rob draws through Rhystic. He activates Quirion Ranger, bouncing Overgrown Tomb, and untapping his Heritage Druid. He casts a Fauna Shaman. He floats three green off of Heritage Druid. He then activates Razakath, paying two life, sacrificing Quirion Ranger, and fetching up a card into his hand. He casts Food Chain. Rhystic triggers, and Rob draws. No one has an answer, and Food Chain resolves. Sean exiles Fauna Shaman to Food Chain, adding three black. He casts Eternal Scourge. Everyone shrugs, and Scourge resolves. Sean demonstrates a loop of exiling Eternal Scourge to Food Chain, adding mana, and recasting Eternal Scourge, netting an extra mana each time. With this loop, he can generate infinite green and black creature mana. He performs this loop three times. Rhystic triggers, and Rob draws three cards. He casts his commander, Harald. Harald enters, Sean looks at the top five, revealing an Elves of Deep Shadow into his hand. He casts Elves of Deep Shadow. Rhystic triggers, and Robert draws. He activates Razaketh, paying two life and sacrificing Elves of Deep Shadow. He tutors a card into his hand. He activates Food Chain, exiling Harald to the command zone. He casts Reclamation Sage. It enters and destroys Rhystic Study. Sean now demonstrates his infinite mana loop through Food Chain, exiling Reclamation Stage to start the loop and then continuing the loop with Eternal Scourge. He uses his mana to continually recast his commander, fetching every elf from his deck into his hand. He casts Lys Alana Huntmaster. He then demonstrates a loop of casting and bouncing his elves through Cloudstone Curio, continually recasting them over and over again and creating tokens through Lys Alana Huntmaster. He does this until he has a very large army of elves. He then casts Skimfar Shadow Sage. It enters, and Sean has enough elves to drain out the table, and Sean wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Sean on his win. Sean showed tonight that once again, elves are a very powerful tribe. He also demonstrated that there is still so much room in this format for new synergies, new decks, and new strategies. We loved how his deck performed and how Sean was able to get out from under multiple pieces keeping him from winning. The most valuable card in tonight's game was a little tough to decide. At first we thought we should give it to Assassin's Trophy, being able to destroy two separate permanents tonight. We then thought of giving it to Razaketh the Foulblooded, enabling Sean to win the game through his huge threat. At the end of the day, we had to give the most valuable card to Avon Mind Sensor. This card made Assassin's Trophy better, made all found tutors useless, and even kept people off of fixing mana. Sean almost didn't win the game due to Mind Sensor and had to find a way to deal with it before he could go off. This card kept the table on the back foot until the very end. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. All right, everyone, time for Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to give a shout out to Gabriel Adams, Thomas Thurber, Carrie, Noah Criswell, Mario Acevedo, Nod Noodle, Nicholas Tatum, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Ryan Wright, Votto Von Trapp, Otto Von Trapp, Ivan Frapperl, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Willow Lysander, Pyro, Dark, Mr. Doc Profolimic Swaggy Pants the Third, Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutphen, Ryan Brower, Rune, Rakeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quick Draw, Zods, James Cody Halley, Spencer Ryborn, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Coran, Darius Mitchell, King O'Sharks, Nick, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tauntaun101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers. Thank you all very much.